Hello guys and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Uh, yes, this is pre-update 6.0. So this was just, these games were just before the update, new update. <clears throat> and just look how much clearer it is. You can see who's playing what tank, what tier they are in uh, descending order. Um, bottom of your screen, quite small but bold. Uh, ammo types, uh, equipment you've got. Um, and on the bottom left, you've got small icon showing your tank, what and um, different components there are on your tank, um, and your crew, so you know which one's damaged that you might need repairing, um, and which uh, crews you've got uh, injured that you might need uh, putting the health pack on. Um, yeah just <laughs> uh i don't know yeah anyway sorry no more ranting about update 6.0 shall we right uh so yeah so the swedish um tier 8 premium td uh so it's a little bit boring gameplay here guys i'm sorry about that tds tend to be a little bit boring from that point of view uh especially when it's a glass cannon um but I had a surprisingly good game in this thing on this map because there's no foliage um, to hide behind, really. Uh, at least not on this side of the map, really. Unless you stick at stay at base. And we got a tier 9. Um, yeah, not sure where that shot went. <clears throat> um, and yeah, looks like a lot of the enemy are. Uh, camping at their base really our, our, luckily our team has pushed and that's kind of how a lot of games can be won is by getting more of the map under your control than any enemy uh, so we get a second bit of damage there um, nice hit into the T-34 black um, addition um, we are lucky that no one's coming over this way from the other the other team to be honest they the enemy team doesn't seem to be pushing at all apart from the the um little gully uh which isn't a really good place to to push um because well you're you, it's a very small area um and people and to get out of it you've got to push up um and out into the open so yeah just not a good place to push uh, the only reason why you would want to push there is if you ha are heavy slow heavy uh with no real gun depression now the lights have seemed to have come over here we've got a bit of a problem here because we are pretty much on our own um and if they figure that out then we're screwed but um our team is pushing from the other flank um they have now pushed up uh, through the middle um uh, so i've i'm taking shots here but it's it's a bit precarious i should probably fall back at this point but the thing is they're pushing the middle if they lose the middle then it's it is definitely game over for them i mean it's looking bad for them already because their positionings um but if they pushed uh if they can't push up the middle if they lose the middle that's well it's game over i yeah i take a good old long uh time to try to hit the light because the light's probably the most dangerous tank in the game for me anyway uh we try to get out that we can't get our gun down quite far enough um and these guys are pushing and they're out in the open so we can now hit them from behind and there's nothing they can do about it all they can do is go hide back in the in the gully or push push the enemy uh push into the enemy tanks which obviously means they're going to take hit from that so our first tank down take out a tier nine so that's good um we are still technically losing this match um but i shouldn't think we'll be losing for long because the positioning of our teams um oh that was unfortunate that guy was doing me doing me some damage there so we we, we really would like to have had some payback for that guy and um, we bounced off the kv which is very annoying kv4 it's got very good armor but really i should be able to pen him quite easily especially from this angle um 
and we took another hit, but we damaged the ISM's ammo, so quite, quite possibly he can't repair that either now. Um, it's the light tanks that are actually lighting me up, um, but I'm being careful that someone might be pre-aimed over here, so if I fire they might shoot me, uh, shoot in this general direction. So, yeah, as you can see, their team has collapsed completely. Um, we could have taken a speculative shot there. I think we would have been okay to do that, but we didn't. Uh, so we basically got just the one kill, 3,500-odd damage. Um, so not a bad game, really. Every That's the good thing about this tank. It's... it's um it's the, the gun's just so good. It's it, the shell velocity is so fast. It's so accurate. Um, it's 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 very nice to play with sometimes, especially if you have, if you have games that work out pretty much exactly like this. Um, that's the problem with um, this kind of tank. It has to go a certain way to have a good game, uh, and that's the that's the thing. Um, you can't have one two, but either team um, do uh, spectacularly well else you know you, you won't have enough chance to get shots off we got our second kill there we've got see if we can finish off that light tank uh, no and we missed that shot and he's coming for us he's hit us uh, but bounced And he drives out towards the H. You really should probably go for me, to be honest. Oh, and we get our third kill. So we're just under 4,000 damage there. Um, and three kills. So I think this is the first class. Uh, hence why I've put it up. Um, obviously, this is not the most spectacular um, game to watch, but... It's always nice to put up a game like this now and again because obviously people do play TDs, don't they? So, and this is kind of gameplay that happens when you play a TD. So, yeah, obviously next one's going to be actually, uh, I think it's on the same map <laughs> um, because they've obviously taken they took out a lot of games out of the uh, map cycle to polish them up. Um, so a limited amount of maps unfortunately which is very annoying but that's the way it is had to be done made a bit of money there as well nice yes so on the sand river one but we're now we're in another tier 8 premium but we're in the ragnarok and this is what i mean i just did a video on this the update um today the all the reloaders have some three small boxes to show whether you're loaded or um, um, loaded or not or and it's just not very clear but as you can see three small shells uh, images there um, very clear whether you how many shots you fired and whether you're reloading or not it's just such a better way uh, this is such a better way of doing it um, so I don't know why they did that for the update but there you go that's what they did um and you can either try to change their minds, but it's been done now. It's going to be hard for them to undo it, and it's going to take a while for them to undo it, I expect. Um, so, um, yeah, we've got to live with it or don't play, I guess. Anyway, we uh, this is kind of the area I do tend to go uh, on Sand River, like in a medium uh, or something with good gun depression is this little hill, this little area here. So, because um, tanks push up the uh, up the hills here, uh, we can get shots across at them when they um, when they push up there. Uh, and we got obviously we'll have their side side armor, so be able to pen them. Sometimes it works, obviously, because uh, guys push up there. Sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes they don't push up there. Um, and it looks like no one's coming over here. Unfortunately, it looks also looks like a big, uh, fair amount of tanks are still 
getting in position here. And then we can spot someone up. Someone's looking at me. Uh, hoping it's not not a TD in the back there or a artillery. Alright, there we go. Um, bit of a spot of assisted damage there. Looks like they're all going up the middle and the JK line, I guess. And there's a hammer. Well, we missed that. Don't want to. We were targeted, so we didn't want to spend that too much long out, out there. But then we go. Someone just got smacked by our artillery. Artillery. So we got a nice, nice juicy amount of uh, spotting assist, but no actual damage as of yet, which is unfortunate because in this thing. It works best when it's pumping out shots and dishing out the damage. Um, but we are in a bit of a tricky situation. Uh, since they come, they've come, gone down the JK line, um, to get a bit better shots, we'd need to cross across the open. Uh, and I'm sure there's some enemies in, in their um, cap area. But we're going to go for it anyway. Um, ooh, nice little jump. Wee. <laughs> I like doing stuff like that in the uh, in tanks. Um, and there's a Roger Dodger. Here, of course, you would and a, a heavily armoured uh, TD or both at the cap. And um, we're going to get side shots into this guy. And there's not much you can do about that. And we are now reloading our first, no, our second clip. Um, but we've only fired four shots, I think. Uh, like to get the artillery out of the game. Um, but we're not loaded. We'll wait. And he's out of the game. And that, again, I think it's another T-34 black. Uh, he's ramming our, face-hugging our guy. Um, but we're going to help him. We're going to help him as much as possible. And then there's the Roger Dodger. He's trying to get out of, uh, out of the... Yeah, but he took a hit from two other guys. Um and the game is pretty much over already. So will we get another clip loaded before the game is over? So we got an, a 3,000 assists now, guys. 3,000 assists. Um, that's because I got some... Yeah. And we come up behind this guy. He's full health. Uh, and our, we are now fully loaded. I'm trying to track him or set him on fire. None of that really happened. But... Hey, 3, 000, over 3,000 assisted, over 2,000 damage done from ourselves. That's a nice total of 5,000 combined. Uh, we, but we only came second. So uh, that's whoever came first did a good job. I'm not sure how they came first, to be honest. They are a tier lower than me, but okay. Anyway, um... Hope you join me for the next game, um, which it uh, should be hopefully a different map, not Sand River. And welcome back. We are actually in our tier ten Valor this time, um, and in a different map, a uh, nice spruced up map. Um, Valor, um, I've only got two, one crew skill in, six cents, and I'm almost trained another one in, uh, at this point, but obviously it didn't really matter because we've, uh, had the update and it's changed everything. Um, but I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with the Valor, um, and that's why I was hoping to train up my skills and put them all in accuracy. Because sometimes I have this play a game and this thing does not hit anything. I had a game the other day where I shot seven shots um, and missed every single shot. This thing can be derpy as hell. Um, but And then I have games where it hits most of its shots or hits... At least average of his shots, uh, which is fine, you know. And from hitting about sixty percent of my shells, I am happy, you know. Um, it's just when I'm missing every single shot, there's a pain in the ass. Um, 
So we're trying to get in a position here where we hold down uh, and we can get the enemy when they're out in the open. Um, which is pretty much what's going to happen here. Uh, but not quite work out as well as we originally thought. Uh, as you can see, they are poking up here. And we miss our first shot. Of course we do. Uh, there is artillery. Just hope that it isn't looking over this way. There's a badger. We're not going to get through its upper glacis there. Uh, yeah, there's a... Unfortunately, in Tier 10, most Tier 10s have good turret armor, no ma pretty much no matter what tank they are in. Um, and we're just not hitting anything here, guys. We've got a tiny bit of assisted at this point, but that is it. And we've fired like four shells, four or five shells, and we've missed every single one or bounced. Uh, and now they are pushing, which gives us their lower plates. So that badger is in a bit of a tr bit of trouble here. Um, again, accuracy is not our friend, <laughs> as you can see, that uh, dipped too low, and this guy's not actually that far away from us, so we should be hitting every shot here, uh, and I'm risking it, I'm going for another shot on this badger, they have pushed a lot further than we wanted to, he got, that was my fault, you know, I hit the ground there, but I've literally fired about, ooh, close to 10 shells, and I've probably only hit two and pen one that's how bad this thing can be he's missed his shot so we can push out a little bit but we're going to get pushed heavily we land a shot and i think he bounced on us yes he bounced uh good thing he bounced as well because that would have been game over pretty much uh and there he is again and we've put him out of his misery and Make sure that he's not any trouble to us anymore. Um, uh, let's project, uh, there's the badger again. Wait for a reload. Reload. Come on. Take his track off. He's done first bit of damage and he's hurt our driver. See, uh, in the old way, we could I could see straight away that my, uh, my driver has been damaged. And there we go. Put another two TDs out of their misery. Um, now we're just waiting for that projector who's on low health. Um, what else have we got there? And if he bounce, I mean, really, that thing doesn't bounce anything. But we managed to bounce him all right. Uh, that uh, artillery is doing a great job there. He's right next to us. Um, <laughs> but he's he's just managing to hit shells all day long. Yeah, we're going to take a hit from him, and that's absolutely fine. We've almost finished this guy off. We are uh, finally getting some help. Um, but that guy has now finished us off. Uh, from the, finished our guy off. And we didn't even hit that guy. Um, the artillery finished him off. That Pajetto was just trolling us there. Bouncing our shots left, right, and center. Now we're just finishing the rest of them off. So not many of them to go. We're going to go down the uh, K line. Because that's where they spawn is the K line now. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about how I feel about those spawn points. It changes how the maps play for sure. So it does make things a little bit different for us, I suppose. So I'm not, you know, so that's fine, but... Uh, sometimes the spawn points can be a little bit one-sided. So we've got the artillery, the only, the only guy left. Um, <clears throat> we've got two kills so far, just over 2,500 damage, just over 1,500 assist. And we blocked that one um, E100, Jagdpanzer E100 shell. Which obviously, if we didn't, we would be dead by now. So very good that we did. I'm guessing he's down. That guy just went past and didn't spot him up. But I swear he must be down here. So I'm sticking. I'm going to go. Um, a stock ace killed himself. So I'm going to go a little bit closer here. Because Artie does have very good <coughs> stealth. 
And I was right, he is he is up here. So we're gonna just try to take a shot there. And he misses. Uh, so we're gonna guess what we're gonna do guys. Ram him to death. Nice. So we get our third kill. Um just over three thousand damage. So first class there guys. Not not a major amount of damage. Um and not a spectacular amount of kills either, but it was enough to get a first class. So I'm guessing people aren't doing too well in the yeah, Valor, because like I said, it's trolly to me. Um, it's going to be even worse now with the update and my lack of crew skills on that tank, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, I've got one more um, game for you guys to watch. Um, now, what was it? Can't remember. I'll see you in a second. And welcome back. Ah, yes. Same map, so four games, uh, but only two maps. And we're in our um, tier 10 uh, French light tank. Um, and again, this is not. Uh, this is a good match. Um, uh, I'd, it was a fun game to play. Um, I'm not, I'm not a particularly big light tank player, but like I said uh, earlier in my live stream, uh, light tanks uh, have been meta for a while, and they're only going to get better with the update. Um, so I should probably try to get more, more experience in them. Um, if I want to do well in World of Tanks. And we go spotting some guys up. Someone's looking at me. So I'm ducking back. I don't want to get hit. Um, straight away. And yes. there's uh, Now I notice. Two enemy light tanks. Are platooned up. Um. So this could be very, very painful. I'm trying to get at least one more shell out before I reload. Um, and there we go, possibly into this guy. And there he is. Bounce. And bounce. Nice. So wasted those two shells. Awesome. So, but we now have a get a chance to um, reload. I am putting up good game because it looks like we're not going to get uh, a good result here. Um, simply because my team doesn't seem to want to push. This guy, I have no idea what he's doing. I mean, it's a really silly idea. Pushing out into the open here. Into the area where the light tanks tend to be. Uh... So he's got, yeah, and there you go, look. These light tanks are now going for him. But it does give us an opportunity to shoot them. And there you go. Oh, he survived that. That's annoying, that's annoying. But he's not swerving, so that's one one light tank down. This other guy is on low health. Um, and they didn't really do all that much that heavy so we didn't get punished for his uh, mistake there he actually helped us get our uh, first kill so that guy is almost dead so we don't have to worry too much about him so what we're gonna do is try to sneak up around here and hit these guys on the BC line in the bottoms because um, as you could see our pens not amazing um, especially at range obviously it decreases over range, but, you know. So we go for this, because why would there possibly be anybody along that line there? And then, wham! Six cents, targeted, yes. And there we go, finished him off. So, um, I th I'm backing up, because I think artillery might be looking over here. And not only that, that heavy. Um, looked like he might be backing up, because he ex was expecting me. But it doesn't look like it. So we are going to go go in. Um, and there he is. We get spotted though. Don't know how we got spotted that easily. And they go. 
two shots into that rear of that guy and he's down so we are now three kills up uh just over just under 2000 combined so not brilliant amount of um and then i was gonna go for the rt and stuff um but then i realized our heavy is actually on his own there uh that there's a td up behind there but it doesn't look like he's actually going for any of these guys so i'm gonna go and help this guy um because they are probably gonna concentrate on killing this heavy because they'll find it difficult to hit me so why why try to hit something that you might not actually hit and why not go for the thing that's just gonna take your hit all right so one shot two shots killed him and then three shots all three rounds penned uh so we now have got a fourth kill and we got uh that so we're just kind of trying to kill time here maybe distract them a bit as we're reloading we're probably not going to kill this guy because uh he's on super low health um but it's an ml2 so he might be reloading um you never know looks like he's just about to finish reloading i believe and yeah we finished him off and we reload straight away because uh three enemies left um we've and it's going to take us a while to get over to them so we might as well just reload and we've got two guys left artillery and a medium um so can we get uh one more clip out before the end of the game is the question And there's the mediums almost from full health let's see if we can track him we tracked him in place so we've got more assisted uh yeah yes and a whole clip into that um so we've got our top gun now guys we've just got one tank left so we're not going to get loaded before um before the others get here so um we're just going to try to get some assisted spotted damage so but actually we're almost loaded and bam seven kills guys we cleaned up that match for sure so seven kills nice 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 um and we only just got over four thousand damage combined we only got first class but we did get the devastator and top gun so that was nice um i kind of wish i pushed that game a little bit and got um radley walters there could have done that easily really because i had plenty of health to play with anyway um thanks for watching guys some some decent games before the update 6.0 how we missed this Bye, guys.